Sanjay, this latest case, it's sort of alarming when you hear this that the only physical contact was a handshake, but should we be alarmed? Does this mean that the virus is easier to catch than we thought? Well, it, it could mean that. And, you know, typically when we talk about uh, people being in close contact to, to catch the virus, it means healthcare workers or family members. So when you hear about a business meeting and a handshake, it obviously raises concern. But there's a couple very important points here. This man, the, the, the third patient who became infected, he didn't get sick. The reason they found this was they, they were screening the people that, that the uh, infected person, the original infected person came in contact with, and when they screened this guy, they found that he had what are known as the antibodies to the virus. They didn't find the actual virus, they found antibodies, meaning that his body was mounting an immune response to this virus. But it's very important that he, he wasn't sick. So, so I, it, could, it could be easier to spread than we previously thought, but it could also mean there's a lot of people out there who, who get exposed to this, they don't get sick at all, or they get just mildly sick, and that could potentially be some, some very good news. So they're asymptomatic, but they're still spreading the virus. Well, so with regard to the third man, I want to make sure we get the term straight here, the third person who, who took the handshake and, 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 and had the virus, uh, there is what's known as an incubation period, meaning there's a period of time before someone gets sick. We don't think people spread the virus unless they are sick themselves. So it's, un it's not, the scenario is not that you got the virus, you don't even know you have it, you're walking around an airport shaking hands, spreading it indiscriminately. That's not likely to happen. If you are sick, you, you, you're more likely to be contagious. The man who spread it was sick. You know, he, he, he was coughing, apparently. He may have coughed into his hand before he shook hands, whatever it may be. But it's unlikely for someone who is completely asymptomatic, healthy, not showing any signs of illness, to also be spreading the virus. And that certainly does ease concern, so that's good news. But when you look at the statistics here, that nearly one in three people die from this virus, should we be pretty concerned by that? You know, th there's some interesting math here, Brianna, and I think this is really important. If you look at the numbers now, we were just crunching these numbers, the, 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 the classification, 614 people have been infected, of whom 180 or so have died. It's about 30% lethal. But if you now add in this new piece of information, could there be many more people who also became infected but developed either no illness or really mild illness, never saw their doctor, never got checked. If, you, if that's true and you start really increasing the, the no, denominator, if you will, from 614 people to 6,000 people or 60,000 people, then all of a sudden that 30% mortality number starts to drop way down. And that could be the case. There could be people out there who have MERS that don't know it. And that, and that again, is potentially a very good thing.